Hey guys, um, sorry about that last video I posted. Um, I admit I was having one of my down moods and I was quite a downer in that video, so I apologize for that. But to make a long story short, I basically, well, I prayed and I received a confirmation in it from my prayer and in a nutshell I pretty much decided I'm not going to give up on this dream of mine to help people and now let me explain first where this came from my chain reaction theory it's actually not my theory it was Rachel Joy Scott's theory the first casualty of Columbine High School shooting. Before she died, she um, she had a theory that if you just one random act of kindness can spread around the world, like a pebble in a pond, for example. No matter how big the pond is, if it's a lake or an ocean, you drop a pebble in it on one side of the world, those ripples will eventually reach every shoreline there is that is in their path. They will reach the outer perimeter no matter how far. One little pebble. Now, yes, that's a metaphor, but one random act of kindness can change a life for the good. One random act of kindness can touch somebody's heart and inspire them to do the same for others and so on and so forth, like a domino effect. That was Rachel Scott's challenge. Do one random act of kindness for a total stranger. It could be as simple as a smile, or walking by a homeless man and instead of saying to yourself, God, what a low life, why doesn't he just get a life? Instead of saying that inside your head, why don't you buy him a meal? or give him a job for a little bit of money or hell feed him it's simple and then that act of kindness for that homeless man might just inspire him to try and do the same for another person and that could make all the difference in their life because you never know how they became homeless to begin with and in, in Rachel's theory before she died, she actually wrote all this down. I can't remember everything because it was... I was 16 when I went to that assembly at Box Elder High School. And, you know, I was a bully when I went to that assembly. I admit it. It's not one of my prouder moments in life, but it's the truth. And Rachel Joy Scott changed my life. She made me stop and think about how my actions made others feel. And this is way before I went off my meds. Like, actually, two years. Not way before, but... Before enough. <laughs> Pardon my dull way of putting it, but... When I saw that assembly, and when she talked about how to be kind to people and not judge them for their appearance and how they act or whatever health problems they have whatever it may be don't ever judge somebody based on your first impression because you never know what happened to them a day ago before you met them or five minutes before you met them give people benefit of the doubt because if you do that <laughs> then you are setting an example and that example could be the thing that changes not just one life but many and you never know you might never know if it does start a chain reaction you might never get confirmation on that but it is still worth trying so <clears throat> she had wrote on the back of her dresser in her handprints as a child, a young kid, she said, one day these hands will touch the world. 
And Rachel Joy Scott knew that she was going to die young. She even said it numerous times in her journals. And they did. It's unfortunate that she died, but still, she touched the world. Rachel's challenge touched the world. And that is where my theory came from. It's actually her theory, but that's my inspiration. And you know what? She's right. <clears throat> I haven't been true to myself for many years. So, I will try my best to do a random act of kindness for somebody. And I urge you to do the same. Please, try it. I dare you. And another thing I would like to request, whoever sees my videos, please share them with everybody you know. This video, my message to you, to the world, that video, and my positive updates. Please, I need these to be seen. If this is going to work, it has to be seen, and it has to be spread from person to person to person to person. Otherwise, how can the domino fall and knock the others down if it's the only domino there to fall? I can't be the only domino falling. I need your guys' help. So, please, for me and for Rachel Joy Scott, try and do one random act of kindness for a total stranger. Just try it. Anyway, that's going to be it for this video. Good night. God bless you all. You are loved and you are important in this world. Never forget that. Good night.